Good evening. The topic I wanted to talk about today is about a changing life. Um, so as you know, as you know, uh, now I know there's exceptions to this case, but um, quite a lot of people, uh, when they start elementary school, you know, now I know there's stories of people whose parents are, 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 are doing some kind of business or they are, they moved around a lot. And the people went to different schools, different cities, even different countries. Uh, that's known to be quite a difficult adjustment, especially for uh, children or teenagers when they are have to move to a new country or new city or whatever for school. Uh, even if they have to move to a different school uh, in the same state or something, it's a big deal. Um, as for me, I mean, uh, most of the time I did. Uh, I mean, I mean, like mo most people. A lot of people, I should, I should say most, a lot of people go to the same elementary, same middle, same high school, and they're with the same, around the same people, right? Um, now, as far as I know, uh, uh, so if you're there with the same people through, th through those years, um, it's not really that you're choosing to be with them. It's just how it is. Um, and there's a lot of change that happens. Uh, sometimes, you know, as far as I knew, I mean, like, like, uh, people did change from when I went to elementary, when I went to elementary, then I moved to middle, middle was, uh, junior high was larger, was a larger school. So they had more, they had like three different, mainly elementaries putting into one middle school. And then after middle school, everybody went to uh, a different high school. Like, like, like they were like eight or nine different high schools to choose from. So everybody split up anyways, and then you were dealing with new people again. Um, upon completion of high school, to be very honest, I, I think I rarely saw anybody from high school in, in, in at college. Uh, rarely, like I don't think I ever saw anybody. Um, mind you, I also attended college when I was a little bit older. Uh, and, and typically you won't see people um, at that time. Um, and then and then later you grow older, you can go to, you can choose where you go, who you hang out with and whatnot. Um, to be very honest, I know there were a lot of people who, who claim to have started living life very early. I mean, like at the youngest 12 or 13, um, some kids started, uh, I, I mean, I'd say as early as like high school, you had kids who were like, well, you know, we want to party and our parents don't want us, but we're going to party all the time. We're going to smoke weed and drink. Uh, we want to have frivolous sexual activities with, with many different people. Uh, we want to get into fights. We want to break the law and blah, 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 blah. You know, uh, we don't give a fuck about our schooling and, you know, stuff like that. There were kids like that. Um, I chose not to take that route. And, and the reason was that, um, I mean, you could call me a square or you could just say that, uh, I mean, I just had too much discipline for that. It just uh, kind of seemed like out of context, you know, it just didn't seem uh, like the proper decision to take. Um, I wasn't into shoplifting and, um, you know, um, drugs and alcohol and things like that um, or to be, yeah, so, so, so for me, it wasn't really a, the thing. Um, and it wasn't until I got older that I even uh, took part in things. I mean, um, I mean, uh, you know, I don't know. Like I, I was fairly old when I robbed the bank, you know, I was like in my mid twenties, you know, uh, that was like a very conscious decision. Um, and, uh, but anyways, I mean, that's a whole different thing. You know, I'm not, uh, some dumb fucking guy on the on the street uh, trying to fuck yeah, who who knows man let's not even talk about that but uh, but anyways um i'd say uh you know there wasn't uh, there wasn't anything to show in life that i had i had nothing to show i mean um i i had a go the life of a ghost uh, people would not even remember me or think that maybe he died that that guy we, we went to school with so that's what people thought maybe he's dead or something um i uh i just continued on my life did change in ways uh things did happen and uh and whatnot but um 
It wasn't until recently. And that's the thing. That's what I'm talking about. I can't really talk about the past much because that was a ghost past. There wasn't much of any life, really. Um, and as of, you know, as of now, I do. I'm actually, I'm starting to have a life, right? Um, it's only now. And, uh, you know, um, what can I say? I mean, uh, it's me. I don't know what else to say, you know. I didn't, like... I think I started off with with what I knew and what what I wanted, but it got kind of misconstrued and and distracted, and I went into a different kind of world. Uh, and by different kind of world, I mean like you know coming to Canada, for example, from the states, it was different. It was a different kind of world, and uh, you know what I mean. I just kind of uh, was out of place, but at the same time, it was it was just like when you play uh, snakes and ladders, you know, it's just like like it doesn't matter where I started off because I'm ending up where I'm supposed to go anyways. And now that I'm starting life off, I'm starting it the way it is, the way it should be for me, uh, which is absolutely perfect to me. I mean, I have no complaints about that. I don't mind starting off in a bad spot and moving um, moving on, rolling the dice and moving on and, and, and getting to a spot that befits me and and obviously it would fit me because it's it's natural to me and eventually i would always have arrived at who i am even if it takes 20 years 25 years uh i would still end up where I'm, even if it takes 30 years i would still end up where i am and that's not even an issue or a problem but going forth i mean i know that um you know i i can see you know when you're sailing like if you sail from Europe to South America, let's say, um, the first three days are very exciting. You know, the first week is exciting. The first month is exciting. After a while, even though you're at sea and, and you haven't hit land yet and you, ha and you can't see what's there for you on land yet, while you're in that water and you're sailing there, you know, you can already see the tides change. You know, the tides are already changing and your life is already rapidly changing even before you land on that on that land and then when you do land on that land you start wow you know my life is totally different you know you could be a you know the conquistadors you probably arrived there like wow what the hell? They, were, they were probably scared at first a little bit and interested uh thinking you know what's going on and and, and then taking over these places and then um sailing back at one point uh maybe months or or, or years later or a year later or eight or nine months later sailing back with all this gold and all this uh, stories of these new worlds and these new things going on uh, and these new discoveries uh, and, and wealth and everything and taking it back. And, and, and now they go back and they're like kings in their old place. In their old kingdom, uh, they started off as uh, like, like, um, like subcontractors or, or free contractors, I call them, free uh, campaigners and military contractors, bands of men uh, and who were not pri pirates, who were actually quite formidable, uh, uniformed, trained, uh, disciplined, uh, uh, made of a different kind of cloth, willing to take different kinds of risks and, and not fearing the unknown and not fearing uh, taking a risk or not fearing danger and moving forward. And now these men sail back and after doing what they've done and, and earning what they've earned, they are like kings in their old kingdom, in their towns and cities and their nation, in all of Europe. Uh, the, all, the entire Europe is talking, like not the entire, but, but, but maybe they had context in, in Europe and, and Europe is talking about them. It's a big deal. It's a big, big deal. Now they go back and they are considered to be uh, maybe not heroes or kings, but considered to be quite uh, formidable people. And, and I don't think anyone was a bit surprised that Cortez and his conquistadors came back and became who they did. I'm pretty sure they could have always smelt it. Like, man, if anyone's going to make it uh, to that kind of limit, it's going to be these guys. They are absolutely crazy, yet calculated, right? Anyways, I want to wrap this up. And uh, I want to say, so I'll try, I, I'm trying to keep this a bit shorter. But um, that was the best analogy I could give. I don't want to explain more. I love explaining less and less as I'm going on with these videos. Because I'm hoping that fewer people will kind of get it and then we can just move on with that. Uh, again, I want to say good evening and um, that's the end of this video.